What's happening guys? So I picked up something on eBay for my Miata. I think it's gonna look really good in replacing of those really amber yellow-ish headlights that I'm not really too fond of or really excited of. But I went on eBay, picked up myself a pair of some LED headlights that are aftermarket. And I think it'll look really great along with her. And it's got this halogen feature as well with a two-in-one kind of turning signal where the halogens turn from bright white to bright yellow when you're either flickering left or right on the turning signal. But this is what she looks like right now and it's daytime and I don't want to, I mean I don't want to have to show you what the lights look like on a stock Miata because it's not really fun, you know, it's, it's, it's like a heli -E light and it's just not, it's not really modern i mean i prefer this look really it's got that classic authenticity of appeal and feature along with a uh, a roadster vehicle such as a miata but this is what the product comes along with it's from ebay i'll try to get you guys the link to go with it. It's from stage three llc it's all pretty much plug and play instructions come along with it here's the lights itself let's just take a little peek here of one of them this is what it's expected and if you're wondering how much the price was it was $109 I've seen a lot of other Miatas out there they have that one everyone gets it's like all black inside dome and everything I don't want to be like everybody else so I want to be kind of more unique this one's crazy hella cool but this is what it looks like check that out so it assumes like this, yes, just like that. So you have your turning signals and your uh, halogens, which is right here, the inner the outer circle. And I think it's a 6,000K. And you have your high beams and low beams. But I wanted to see how this is all gonna you know, look all together with it. I think it's gonna look really sharp with this car. So let's get onto it. All right, let's pop this hood. Look how clean she is though. My God. All right. First things first. Leave that bad boy there. I wanna get in here. I'm gonna get underneath here real quick and remove away this turning signal because we're gonna be tapping in to our turning signals as well because the kit comes with the wiring assembly as well. assembly out. There you go. It's all out. Okay, let's just loosen all this up. Okay, remove her like so. Okay, you gotta be very careful removing this because those screws are really, really small. Look at that. Really small. So we're going to be tapping on the red and the green wires here from our turning signals. And they're going to be connected right here to our yellow and white wire. This goes back, made it into our original mate, into the wiring harness for the headlights. This comes with the kit also as well for the extension to get in reach there. So all you gotta do is tap these two to these two on the original wiring harness for the turning daytime running light wiring harness. And it's pretty much plug and play back to the headlight assembly. So it's pretty much simple. And the steps pretty much explains all that. All right, so everything is now mated into the wiring harness. I tapped into it, as you can see. Instructions, guys, are pretty basic here. Plug and play. Let's check this out. Lights on. Oh snap, look at that. Uh huh, that works. Boom. Look at that. Let's make a turning signal. This is a daytime running lights. Oh, look at that. That is sick. Look at that. There's no hyper flashing or anything. Let's put the lights on. Ooh, that is bright. Hella bright. Oh my god. Is this glass, by the way? It feels like. Glass. It's really tough. It's not like that cheap shit that you get a lot. That's marketed around on eBay. I think it's 
real deal, tough. I paid $109 for that. High beams on. Oh yeah, that thing works. That's sick. All right, moment of truth. They're all installed now. Let's check out just the daytime running lights. Ooh, check that out. That looks sick. Now let's try on the, ooh, headlights. Let's put on the high beams. High beams are really bright. There you go. Check that out. That looks sick. And that is how the amber transitional lights look like. That is sick. Check that out. Very nice. Very nice. I can't wait to try it out at nighttime. Now I'm sorry to record how the regular amber yellow lights are during nighttime. I don't think you guys really care too much about that. I think what you really care about is how it looks on the vehicle and seeing how it drives at night as well. So let's get onto the driving mode at night. with the Hella E uh, dome lights. What's, what's unique about those that I had originally onto the vehicle was that you could actually swap out and change light bulbs. Not the whole assembly core unit with the bulb mounted all in together. Like most other Miatas. I don't know, what do you guys think right now? Is it kind of metallic green or is it a Montague more blue? Because with direct sunlight, it looks blue here and the side over here looks green. I don't know, that looks sick. Look at that. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. And this is the original color. If you guys didn't, if you guys have been following this YouTube page and saw recently how I got this, couple weeks back and now we have it over here that looks sick just like that boom boom let's do a wide shot that wide shot looks sick too sick then you can go in closer that looks sick like that nice and we can go from a different angle that looks sick yeah, I like it with the stance set up like that. All right, let's put on now the headlight. I did a leveling on it as well, make sure that I don't blind anybody, but that's how it looks right now. That looks sick. So this is what you would expect as a final result with the install. And man, does she look hella mean. That looks good like that. Just like this, two, boom. A bit like this, boom. That looks sick. Let's do it like that too, boom. With a shade, oh, that looks good. 